Without a vision, you can't really be successful. Every entrepreneur believes deeply in their business concept. Most have an abiding passion for what they do and the market they serve and are willing to put in the hard work to get their business off the ground. But belief, passion, and hard work, no matter how good the business concept, are not enough. Without a vision, there is no success. And I'm not the only one who believes that. As John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States said, efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. Lack of direction, not lack of time, is the problem. We all have 24-hour days. This from Zig Ziglar, famed motivational speaker. And from that noted philosopher, Yogi Berra, if you don't know where you're going, you'll probably end up somewhere else. Without direction, or more importantly, a vision for the business, and for you professionally, financially, and personally, that defines success, you can't achieve it. That just makes sense, doesn't it? Yet something so basic is missed by so many entrepreneurs. And vision doesn't mean you have to be the next Steve Jobs or see a future that nobody else sees. But in fact, it's creating and modifying, we'll get to that later, a mental picture of where your business can and should be and where you can and should be. Here's some idea of what a vision is. For your business, it's what kind of company and culture you'll have, how it will be viewed by the market. For you professionally, it's what you'll be doing and how you'll be growing. For you financially, it's how much you'll be making, what your net worth will be. For you personally, it's how you'll grow, become a better person, spouse, or partner. But at the end of the day, it's how you define success and how executable that success is. But how do you create the vision that's right for your business and for you? Here are five important factors to consider for creating that vision that will help drive your business and you toward achieving it. First, as an entrepreneur, your business and you are joined at the hip. If you decided to take the plunge and become an entrepreneur, it means that you've determined that you want to control your own destiny. Whatever direction you take your business, you necessarily take yourself. So whatever vision you create for your business will impact whatever vision you have for yourself. For example, if you create a business as a solopreneur, where you will always be the business, your financial growth will be limited by your own bandwidth. But that's your choice. A vision is not a dream. Make sure it's yours and realistic. Wanting to be the next Google, Amazon, or Facebook is a nice thought. There's a difference between a dream and a vision. As an entrepreneur, of course you have a dream. That's why you got into business. But that dream has to be tempered with reality. For example, each of the aforementioned company's successes came through some significant outside investment. Without it, they would have been hard-pressed to achieve the success they did. What does your vision need to come to fruition? Is it realistic? Think of vision as a realistic dream, one that is executable. Third, your vision should cover as specific a time frame as possible. My recommendation always is keep it shorter, three to five years versus longer, five years plus. Have milestones along the way for both the company and you to measure progress. It's a way to ask yourself, how am I doing? Fourth, use your vision as a filter and pass major decisions through it. Your vision should guide every major decision you make, both for your company and for yourself. If the decision goes against the vision, then you either need to rethink the decision or rethink the vision, which leads us to the next and final point. Review it frequently and don't be afraid to modify it. Sometimes the greatest of visions get sidetracked by market conditions. You think the vision an entrepreneur had when he or she started in mid-2007 before the financial crisis was the same by the end of 2008? Also, sometimes things you thought you were capable of, you just didn't have the necessary skills to pull off. Or life simply takes you in a different direction. Again, back to the realistic dream. Because you modify it or pivot, however dramatically, doesn't mean it was wrong just not right for the time or conditions or you. 
No matter what, you need a vision because ultimately it will define success, both for your business and for you. Have a vision, or as Yogi says, you'll probably end up somewhere else. The entrepreneur's Yoda knows these things. He's been there. May success be with you.